Right, we are live. Oh, one second, I'm just uh, doing the usual, getting the chat up. Um, uh, it's not loading yet. Right, okay, we'll have duplicate sound in a second when it decides to load. I imagine we've not got anyone in the chat because I've literally like randomly gone live. Oh, there we go. Go on. Yeah, good. Right, we've not got duplicate sound, we're all right. Um, I managed to pause it in time. So, one second. Let me flip back onto me. Let's get rid of that tab there. Right, okay, we're okay now. We're all sorted. We've got three people in. Um, this isn't going to be everything from the auction hall. Oh, it looks a bit laggy. Hopefully it's okay. Is it all right your end? It looks a bit laggy my end, but usually it does look laggy my end, so should be okay your end. Um, yeah, I, this is about 60% of the auction hall. I'm not going to show you everything. Just because, like, there's a lot, of, there's a fair bit of quantity, but not everything's quality. So I didn't want to just stand here for an hour showing you everything, like the, the quantity of the quality. I thought I'd pick out some more of the quality bits and show you that. Um, but also, I have, I am going to show you most of the hats. There is another bag of hats I'm not going to show you because uh, it would just take forever to go through all the hats. But um, yeah, I did, I did buy some hats. Um, some I might keep for myself, some I might sell. Um, actually, this auction, I kind of, um, I kind of sort of bought a couple of lots for myself without directly buying them for myself. And what I mean by that is they're bigger lots and uh, maybe certain bits I'm going to sell and certain bits I'm going to keep. So I'll probably end up like breaking even or making profit on the lots anyway, but I'll also get like something for myself. So that's quite nice. Um, so yeah, I've done that with a couple of these lots, but I got some decent stuff. I've also got a few charity shop purchases to show you as well. I know it's a bit of a weird time, like it's two o'clock, it's a bit of a random time. Um, but to be honest, I just thought I'd fit it in now, get it out of the way, and then I can sort of get on with processing. So we have Callum in the chat, we have Richard in the chat, we have Kyle in the chat, we have Crap in the Attic in the chat, and we have Chalsol. So hi everyone. Um, so yeah, I've got my little thing here to show to actually tell you what I paid for things. I spent um, on everything £113.42, um, but obviously there's a little bit more than this, not tons more, but a little bit more. I also needed to tell you actually that um, on Thursday, the May, May 80% sure, may be another guest on Thursday Talks, which is pretty cool. Um, my grandparents, when they came on, had a fantastic response. So um eight percent certain there might be um a guest on thursday talks as well um what else did i want to tell you oh yeah as well um i am in the process of buying props a few different props for comedy uh, for comedy short number three but it's kind of weird i've done it a bit differently this time so what i've done is basically i've wrote a script for and i usually write scripts but i mean you know, just on a piece of paper, quick, write them down. It's nothing special. Um, when I say a script, you know, that's all I mean a bit on a piece of paper. But I actually, I typed up a script this time with, um, like, stage directions, I think we call them, and, and things like that, and made it a bit more, uh, I don't know, just a little bit more formal, I suppose, in the way I am, I'm actually doing these comedy shorts. Um, and I've kind of done a comedy short trailer so really I should have done this first before I did any comedy shorts but I've done a trailer that in in itself is kind of a comedy short but it also sort of gives you a taste of um like the whole world of the comedy shorts that I'm going to be doing in you know weeks months years to come so i kind of just wanted to encapsulate it all into one comedy short trailer if you like and then after that um we're going to be filming uh, an actual comedy short as well um which is quite funny actually i quite like it um yeah i i think it's quite good i think you're gonna enjoy it it's a bit more laugh out loud i kind of went on a different tangent last time with comedy short two and went for a bit of a drama and I kind of felt myself going that direction again this time when I was writing it. But um, I don't want to go that direction. I don't want it to be a drama. I want it to be a laugh out loud comedy with 
a little bit of maybe serious moments in it, in it, but mainly laugh out loud comedy. So that's what I've kind of gone for this time. And I think that um, suits me better. So yeah, anyway, I'm not going to talk about that anymore because I know not everyone likes the comedy shorts and stuff. So I'm not going to bore everyone with that. But um, I shall get on with it now. So I shall start with, which a lot shall I start with? Oh, I've not got the cotton wheels. Oh, that might have been good to show. Um, right, which ones have I got? Right, two cast iron uh, cooking pots, including Le Creuset, uh, 14 pound plus commission, just over 16 quid with commission. So not bad there. Um, and I'll show you those two. So I'll show you this one here. This one's quite nice. Oh, what I'll do is just flip back onto the flip back onto this right so um pretty cool this isn't well no this, no this isn't le crusade sorry this one it's enameled it's like a yellow one it's quite cool uh, it is cool i have to say it's cool um it's heavy it's big it's a big cooking pot uh yeah really nice item i'm gonna sort of flip it on its side there but, but yeah i just like it i just think that's really cool now a little story to tell you about this one actually i was um, I was bidding online, as I usually do, and um, I thought that both of the pots were Le Creuset, right? So I was thinking, oh, this is going to go up quite high, because, like, a Le, Cru Le Creuset pots are quite valuable, you know, especially the big ones. And um, I thought, oh, this is going to go up quite high. So I was getting ready with my thing, you know, bid it up, bid it up. And I had a maximum price in mind that was a lot higher than I actually paid. Um and then I realised when the auctioneer was describing them just before it went on that um, one of them wasn't Le Creuset. So I was like, oh, God, I've got to quickly amend my maximum bid. And oh, what was that? Oh, that's OK. Oh, I've just won a, um, a snipe as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I quickly amended my maximum bid. And then actually what happened was he... Uh, at this auction, we usually start everything at five quid, like pretty much everything. But this, but this particular one, it, you know, it was the same auctioneer and everything, but he didn't start everything at five quid. So he started these at 20 quid, I think, or 15 quid. I was like, that, that's too rich. Well, I mean, it wasn't too rich, but, you know, I, I, wanted, I wanted him to come down a bit. So I didn't bid or anything. And then it came down to a tenner and no one was bidding. And, and then by this point, I just realised that, Obviously, one wasn't Le Creuset, but I thought the other one that is Le Creuset, I'd pay, I'd pay, I'd pay a five or each or six quid each with commission. Um, so, yeah, I was like, right, I bid 10 quid. Yeah, great, I bid. And then someone bid 12 and I got them for 14. But I nearly made a big error because I nearly bid it up like crazy thinking that both of them were Le Creuset. Um, but I, I don't know how much I'm going to get for this one in particular, this yellow non-Le Creuset one. It does have a brand on it, but I don't know what it's called it's like fe or something i think it's made in belgium this one belgium this one yeah so that there uh, i'm not going to hold it by its thing but i don't i don't think you're going to see that but where does it say oh there at the bottom there it says belgium belgium i can never say it. belgium um yeah so i don't know but that one's got to be some money Obviously, because it's not Le Creuset, it's not going to be big money, but I would say like 20, 30 quid. Got to be 20 quid, surely, that thing. Nice, heavy, heavy enameled cooking pot there. Lovely, you know, nice. Um, but that that one will probably get my money back, and I shouldn't be holding this by its handles, just in case, because they are pretty thin handles. This is the Le Creuset one. Don't know whether you're going to see it on there, but it says Le Creuset, um, and it says it on its little black black thing there lid uh, not lid um what's that called like little knob i don't even know what that's called <laughs> oh that's terrible uh, but this is nice this one's a heavy one it's a big blue cooking pot um i did look on complete and sold when i was doing my research I, th I was i'm thinking if i remember rightly on completed souls i'd probably be looking about 50 quid for this maybe a bit more um but i think that's around about the price so i'm going to do a bit more research obviously but um, and obviously you guys can as well, but I'm thinking around 50, maybe 60, something like that. I mean, some people might tell, tell me I'm daft and I can get a lot more, but I think if I remember rightly, that's the sort of price I was thinking of going off completed and sold. And there really wasn't a ton of completed and solds. Um, and a, 
a few of them, I think, were uh, international as well. But yeah, really nice. So, so that one's going to be the money, and then that one will be like just like getting my money back, and then this one will be profit. Um, but yeah, quite nice. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'll just dip into the chat because we've got 15 people watching now. We've got uh, we've got Kyle. Oh no, I already said Kyle. We've got Neil. We've got Retro Boot. Right, okay. Um, so that was easy. Um, Right, so that was here with 14 quid. Really happy with that. Good profit in them. Um, and also, there was no, like, chips to be enamel or anything like that. Really good condition, so that was good. Um, then there was this one, which the auctioneer said... And how, how much did I pay for this? Sorry. One sec, I'll just check how much I paid for this one. I don't think it was tons, but... I don't know how much it was. Six quid plus commission. Yeah, I thought it might have been slightly more than that, but yeah, six quid plus commission. Um, and basically, the auctioneer said he thinks it's Le Creuset, but there's no defining like name or anything on it. Um, there is something on the bottom. I think it says made in France or something. Yeah, it says the number twenty-seven and then made in France, and it is in that sort of. Uh, obviously, you you won't be able to see it, so it's pointless me putting it up to the camera, but. Um, it's kind of that style, you know, when uh, on Le Crusade Pops, when it when it says made in France, it's like that style writing. Although it could be like a forgery or a fake, but I don't know how many fakes of these will be going around. I don't know. Maybe it's a big thing, maybe not. But yeah, um, so that's that one. I paid six quid for it. I was taken off guard a little bit because I, I thought this one was Le Crusade as well. And I kind of had to think, do I be on it? Do I not? And I thought, even if it's not Le Crusade, I think I'd still get like 20 quid, 25 quid, something like that. So I took a bit of a punt on it at six quid. I'm going to do some more research, but yeah, it's still, it's a nice, heavy item, nice cooking pot. It's obviously a vintage one, and it's this like, um, Le Creuset call it like the volcanic orange, but I don't know whether if, you know, a pot isn't Le Creuset, whether it's still called volcanic orange or that's exclusive to Le Creuset or whatever, but Anyway, it's an orange you want. It's a, it's a sort of in colour at the moment. A lot of people like this colour. So, yeah, I kind of just took a punt on that one. Um, so that was the Le Creuset and other cooking pots and stuff. Really happy with them because it's... Oh, there we go. Um, crap in the attic says could be a knockoff. Yeah, well, it probably is. I don't know. It, there's no, there's no Le Creuset on there, so it probably is. But, um, yeah, I think someone still had that because it's still... It, I, I mean... It's a quality knockoff, if you know what I mean. It feels of good quality. Um, but yeah, so that was those. I'm really, really happy with them because I've wanted to get some for a while. I've had them. I've had them a couple of times before. I think oh, I've had them once before. Yeah, I've had them once before. Actually, I think I showed it on YouTube as well. I did have them once before at the same auction house, actually. But there's something appealing to me about selling this sort of stuff. I don't know what it is. It just appeals to me. Maybe it's the bright colours, or I don't know. I'm like a magpie, you know, to, to a set of keys with, with these sort of stuff. But I don't know. But cool, anyway. So uh, what shall I go for next? Uh, let's do the hats. No, actually, let's do the random scary doll. Um, yeah, random scary doll. I'm just going to... That one's got a small knob as well, lol. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like the colour. Yeah, I love the colours. The colours are really, really nice. Um, oh, we've got 22 people watching for this time of day as well. That's weird. Um, so I, I got about four or five of these really weird, scary dolls um, in the bottom of a box. I bought two boxes of miscellaneous stuff for what? Well, well let's. Sorry, I'm terrible with the crisis. I think it was nine quid. I think it was nine quid. Let me. And do no eight quid, but like just just shy of a tenner, including commission. Um, but eight quid plus commission, happy with that. Two boxes of miscellaneous stuff. There's only two reasons I bought the stuff, which are uh, bought the box two boxes, and uh, I'll show you them in a minute, and you'll be thinking, oh yeah, there's profit in that. That's great. Um, so yeah, there's only two reasons I actually bought it, and then I've got landed with a load of a tap really, but some of which I'll try and sell some of which might go back into an auction or i don't know to charity or so i don't know so i just something will get done with it anyway but there's four of these like really scary looking dolls and if you actually put the hair back i don't really see that very well 
but we kind of look like boys ears. I don't know whether they do to you, but they kind of look, uh, you know, if I were to lift the hair up properly, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do that, but it kind of looks a little, no, it doesn't look that bad now, but it looked like a boy before. I don't know why, it just looked like a boy to me. But yeah, a bit weird and scary. Not as scary as some dolls that you see, but a bit weird. I mean, it's, it, you do look a little bit weird. It's the earrings for some reason. Them earrings make, I don't know, it just makes it look a bit weird to me. But yeah, anyway, I, I might be able to like job lock the four up and just do them on auction and get some money out of them because I won't have, you know, once I've sold the, the main two pieces that I was looking at, I won't have any money invested in this stuff, so I can just get whatever out of it. So, yeah, I might do that with them, don't know, but the, uh, there was another three of them in the other room, and I, I wasn't going to bring them all in, I just thought I'd just bring that one in. Um, so, yeah, hats, I'll do hats next, uh, and we'll get some speed going. Um, I saw it blink. If you lift up the skirt, you will find out. Oh my god. Um, forget the ears, ads. <laughs> uh, they look kind of troll like. Yeah, that's a good way of describing them. Yeah, Chrissy says. Um, any markings to the doll? I don't know. I'll have a quick, quick look. I don't want to lift up the skirt. You know, I don't want to lift up the pants or anything. I feel, feel terrible if I do that. Um, I don't know. I'll have a, a look like, oh, God, the head spins right round. That's freaky. Um, no, don't know. Probably is somewhere. I'd have to have a more detailed look, though. Um, that just sounds wrong, doesn't it? I'm just going to have a more detailed look. But, yeah. Um, back of the head. Right, okay, I'll quickly check. No, doesn't look like there's anything there. Nothing there. Not even, like, a faint mark. There's just literally nothing. Um, but that was them anyway. Um, right, so hats. I'll do hats. Now, I paid up on these because I saw the word barber in the title. And I thought, ooh, barber hats. I bet they go for good money. And I got a bit carried away. And I kind of thought, ooh, well, I could probably add some, a couple for myself as well. Um, hello, my name is Zog Fumble. The fourth, I have come from the year 2319. Uh, Ad Robinson has sent me. Well, that's funny you should say that because without giving too much away, there is a little bit of, of, of time humor in uh, one of the comedy shorts that's coming or that needs to be filmed. But um, yeah, that, so that's funny you should actually do that. But um, Common so-called collectibles usually tap, yeah. Well, if the dolls are tap, the dolls are tap. So I think I paid 25, yeah, I paid 25 quid plus commission for the hats. There is another bag of, uh, another bag or two in there, actually. Um, I really don't know. I mean, it was a bit of a punt because I'm not good with, the funny thing is I love hats, but I don't really know much about them. And I kind of want to learn more about them. Like I want to, um, delve into the history of hats and uh when they were first made and what all their um uses were and even getting into helmets and things like that um i'd really like to sort of explore that a bit more but i bought these anyway there are some quite nice ones in here to be honest um i'll flick back onto here so then i can see myself so this is a browning all I think when I hear Browning is the machine gun because it was like COD, COD WOW or something I think that was in or um, was it COD Modern Warfare or something? I don't know. I think it was COD WOW uh, or COD World at War. Um, so this is a Browning sort of like, a, I want to say a hunter's hat. It's got this little, um, little uh, oh, what's that, stag or something there. It's meant to be a little stag. I know you can't see it that well. Um, but it, you can feel it's fair quality. I mean, it's not been a major, major quality, but it's a fair quality. Um, so I'll have to do some research on that. It's a 100% straw, uh, crown 100% straw, brim 60% cotton, 40% poly, one size fits all. Although there it says made in China, so I don't know. But surely there are quality things that come out of China still. I don't know. 
But yeah, maybe I was wrong on that. Maybe it's not that quality, but it just feels a bit of quality. It feels like there's a bit of quality there. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. I'll just quickly whiz through some of these. This is like, uh, I might keep this one. Oh, but it's nice, this is. Oh, I could probably get some money for this. Um, it's a, oh, what does that say there? I can't read it. Uh, Jewel and Sons, uh, made in England, finest quality, best manufacturer. Uh, so it's made in England, so it might have some quality to it, I don't know. Um, I don't know the best place that makes hats, I'd have to research that. Um, but it's kind of like a, uh, oh, what do you call this? I want to say it's like a Morris Dancer's hat, but it's not quite that, is it? It's kind of like a gondola's hat, you know, like one of the people who do the gondolas in Venice slightly. I don't know, what else would it be? There's another, there's another... There's another word for it. I've got one. I'm sure I've got one over there, but I don't know. But it's quite nice, that one, anyway. Quite a nice one. Um, I'll just be quick, anyway. Uh, this is... Ju oh, God. Oh, I didn't see that. I knew that some of these hats were a bit worse for wear, but there's a bloody spider in there. Oh, my God. Whoop. Yeah, this will need a bit of a... I don't even know whether I'll be able to sell this, but... I might be able to salvage it and have it myself or something. But um, it, it's a... Oh, God, that's terrible. It's a, Again, it's a jewel and sun. It's a nice hat, but it doesn't feel like mega quality. You know, it, it's a nice hat, but it, it just doesn't feel mega, mega quality to me. Uh, it, it's okay, but it doesn't feel mega. Uh, let me switch it around that way. That's pretty cool. I think it's that way. I think it's going to go that way. I might have this for myself. I quite like it. I know it's had a spider in it, but come on. I mean, I can't really sell it if it's had a spider in it, can I? But it's nice. That. It's quite nice. I like that. Um, and then there's a load of... I, th I think the barber one is in here. Oh, this is nice. This is an Orvis. This is an Orvis hat. The people who make the... Uh, there, can you see it there? Orvis. People who make the, uh, like the fishing jackets and the ladies wear and stuff like that. So this might hold some value. Um, and that will great fit on me there as well. That's nice. I like that. Oh, God, I'm this is a problem. I'm tempted to keep all these myself. Um, but yeah, that might hold some value actually, be being all this. I don't know. Don't know, but I can I can feel the quality in that one compared to that last one. You know, it feels a bit thicker, a bit more robust. It's got nice stitching. Around the edges, I don't know whether you can see that, which is quite nice. It's not completely uniform or anything, but it's still, it's, it's, just, it's quite nice. It's not too bad. Um, so that's that one. Uh, we've got uh, Lees of London. Oh, this one's, oh, this one's not great inside. Can you see that there? It's not, it'll actually, all that will come out. It's just like fluff and stuff, but it's not great inside, you know, after. I'll have to give it a nice dust off. But still, that's that's quite nice. I like that. And these, I imagine some of these would have been would have been vintage or, well, yeah, I suppose this one is. Um, extra quality T and W Lees London. So that's nice, actually. I mean, I quite like that. Um, where are we? What have we got here? Uh, got to be happy is in the chat. Uh, Chris, we've got... The hyper picker, yes, you can, lol. Spider adds extra value. No, I can't. Oh, I don't feel bad if it, trying it when there's a spider in it. Right, here we go. Here we go. There's loads of... Uh, Browning make good shotguns. My partner has a lot of stuff. <laughs> has a lot of the stuff. Um, Bota. Bota hat. Yeah, that, yeah that's kind of like it. Morris Dancer, get your <laughs> bells on, lol. Um... Mary Poppins fella's hat. Yes, like uh, Dick Van Dyke wore, yeah, uh, in Mary Poppins. What was that, in 1964, that movie now? It's crazy. Um, butcher's hat, someone's saying for one of the hats. Um, I don't know whether, I think the, the um, I think I must have left the, the Bob, Bob one in the other room. I can go and get it in a minute. That doesn't see it's a vintage one again. It's definitely vintage this one, but it's not amazing. Oh, here we go. H Hunter Blackpool. Oh no, maybe it's not terrible then. It's got a name on it. I couldn't see a name you see then, so I thought, oh, 
maybe it's not going to be great, but H Hunter, that one. Uh, and then we've got a load of like just generic flat caps that you could probably do like little bundles with or something, um, unless like any of them are worth it individually. We've got Authentic Chino, 100% cotton there on this one. Um, I, I want to go and get the barber one, to be honest, because property of property gun and linked club. I don't know. Um, and then just a random one here that is not great at all, really. Not great at all. Um, right. Oh, we've got a bit of a worse for wear estate gazette one. Um. And then we've got a few more in here, and then the other ones are in the other room. Uh, Gazette, Estate Gazette again. Uh, Charter. To, see, some of these ones with, like, uh, small companies on can do okay, but I don't know. I think you have to get the certain type, like, certain ones, you know. Um, but you could still chuck that up on its own and see what you could get for it. But, you know, Charter Interiors Limited, I don't think it's going to be a lot. You know, I mean, a lot for it, though. Um, and then we've got uh, West Wycom, a uh, Wickham, <laughs> West Wycom, West Wick, uh, West Wickham. I couldn't see the, the E on the end. Uh, no, I couldn't see. Yeah, I couldn't see the B. No, I couldn't see the B. So it said Wycom. Um, West Wickham Corporate Entertainment. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly go and grab that barber one. I'll literally be one second. Right, there we, go, there we go. Okay, I wasn't literally one second, but you can forgive me. You can forgive me. All right, one sec, one sec. Let me get back. Right, so um, I've got a few more of the hats in here. This is all right. I like this. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting excited about this one. This is... Um, Christopher Doors, really, really nice quality. You can feel the quality in this one. Christopher Doors, exclusive country wear. Um, and, yeah, it, this is a nice hat. It really is. It's a nice hat. You can feel the quality. Very, very tempted to keep this one for myself. But if I keep the best ones for myself, there's no profit in this. Because um, I kind of feel like I've overpaid a little bit anyway. But that is nice. I like that. I like that. It's my style as well. It's got that, like, it pops, doesn't it? It pops. Um, but no, that is nice. And it's a large. I mean, it is a little bit big for me, to be honest. But still, it's nice. Uh, where's this barber one? Oh, here's the barber one. Right. Again, so this is the barber one. Uh, again, I can feel the quality. It's a lovely hat. Um, and... Oh, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to say? Here? Oh, there we go. Country clothing barber. So, pretty cool. I mean, I don't know whether it, this is going to be a fake or anything, but I wouldn't imagine so. I mean, I don't know how to identify a fake, so I'd have to go in the wheel of fake group or something, but I don't think it is just because of how quality it feels. And the low, and the, like the, Oh, what do you call it? The label there is quite nicely stitched. It, it feels quality. It just feels quality. So I don't think it would be a fake or anything like that. But again, nice hat that is. I don't know whether this is a woman's or a man's. It might be a unisex one. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a unisex one. But it kind of screams a little bit more woman's with, with this big uh, like sort of bow thing on there. So... Yeah, but that's nice, that one. That, that, both, both of those are nice, actually. Um, right, I'm going down the chat because I'm, I'm slow. Oh, I'm too slow. Um, do, do, do. Wurzel Gummidge. I know, oh, yeah, I've just finished watching that, actually. I watched it when I was younger because um, I think it was like, there was like reruns on or something because obviously I'm not ancient, so I, I, you know, I didn't watch it years ago. Um not that anyone who did watch it, you know, years ago is ancient, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, I always get tongue-tied with the words. Um, cheers, Sib K. Yeah, it seems I need to use animal. Oh, yeah, is, is Chris talking about getting an Amazon account? Yeah, I would just go for 
I would just go up for pro. Are you talking about pro or individual account? That's all I saw anyway, quickly. I just went for pro, I think. I don't know whether I got an individual. I think I just went for pro, and I've been pro ever since. Um, on some months, like when I was hardly doing anything, I don't know whether it would have been worth it, but now every month it's worth it for the pro for me. Um, every month for months and months and months it's been worth it. So, yeah. L ladies hat has a bow on it <laughs> uh yes i see the bow now ladies hat um got to be happy i wasn't sure but you could sign up for the trial um well done on the merch sale. oh it's as uh charles got a merch sale oh cool um yeah i've got i've got no merch sales i've not to be honest i just think that maybe it's not quite for me you know i mean there's things that I, I'll, I'll try everything out i'm like that i'll try everything out but i just don't know with merch i think for me nah, if i <laughs> the thing is i could imagine employing someone to do it for me and if you can imagine employing someone to do the thing you want to do for you then it's not really the thing you want to do if you get me so why do it in the first place you know you've got to have passion for it so yeah i'm i'm probably just gonna let my merch account go you know um just just close it down or something i don't know but i mean i i, I kind of did a few designs at first and i was fairly enjoying it but i don't know I just, I just don't know i'm just not sure whether it's for me or not uh that's what i've been trying to do once signed up the next step is to link my amazon account I tried, but it's saying I need pro. Oh, oh, oh! If you're talking about something else, I think actually not about just going pro. But yeah, um, right. Who I, I saw, Charles will say hi, Nick. Is Nick in the chat? I'll go up. I've missed a bit of. Oh yeah, uh, Nick and Andrea, or Nick or Nick or just Andrea is in the chat. Um, right, cool. Right, so we'll get on with it. Um, I randomly pulled through some other stuff, so I will show you this. For oh, this was actually really good. Uh, well, I think it's really good. I actually have no idea on price, but I think it's still good for a price paid. So this is a Shelly dessert set comprising of. Uh, this is terrible. Shelly dessert set comprising six bowls and a serving bowl. Now, if I was typing it up, I know that the the secretaries and and the workers in an auction house is just typing up really really fast because we've got to get through a full catalog well come on there's no there's not even an of in there you know shelly dessert step comprising of six bowls and a serving bowl maybe i'm just too um critical of people but i just come on i mean if you you know you've got customers you, you customers always right you you want to present the best possible description and photos as you can and yeah, anyway, it just annoys me, but we're not going to get into that because that's just first world problems, really. Um, so yeah, oh, sorry, I didn't even tell you how much I paid once that. Sorry, I'm getting so bloody wild up. Um, right, uh, £12 plus commission. So it was like just, oh, was it eight pieces? Seven pieces for just over 14 quid. So it was £2 a piece, basically. Um, yeah, and uh, trying to link Amazon to Neato Scan. Oh, is that because Chris is getting into the book? So, oh, well, I, I wouldn't know. Oh, right, that is Chris saying that. I thought it was someone else saying that. Um, oh, yes, because you're getting into the book. Oh, I couldn't do all that. Um, I, I just, I'm terrible with all that sort of stuff. I had enough trouble with OBS. Um, so here's in the chat, how do you all, he says. So we're just going to go through these quickly because I didn't even plan to go through these. So this is the serving bowl, I imagine. This is Shelly. Well, actually, wait, hang on. This doesn't say Shelly on here. The others say Shelly. It's the same style. See, the, these say Shelly. And this is the same serving bowl, but for some reason, there's no Shelly on there. That's weird. That's weird. That is weird. There's no Shelly on there. But it must be Shelly because it's the exact same style. The exact same style. That's weird. Anyway, what I might do is split the serving bowl off, you know, up and then sell it individually and sell like 
I might sell individual plates or I might sell like two plates together or something. I don't know. I might sell it as a big bundle, but I'll see like what, you know, on completing the souls, how it goes best. Um, but certainly I was going to pick over oh, a bit of, is that? Yeah, but it looks like we've been in the um, dishwasher or something. This one has because it's got a bit of. Can you see that there? It's got a bit of like um, the designs coming off slightly, which is a bit annoying. But I'll check the others. Yeah, they all have it to its to a slight degree, but I can still get some money out of them even for that price. I could still get some money out of them. What did I, what did I say like three weeks ago, four weeks ago? I always do this. I always do this. First go, I get it wrong. Then I have another go, I get it wrong. Then by the third go, I get it right. That's my mantra. Because I did it with the radios and I've done it with Shelly. So that's just like my mantra. But I'm still going to sell them. I'll still make a bit of money off them. But yeah, there's a bit of, I don't know whether you're going to see it on here, but I could not be dealing with breakables. But get, then again, uh, many people would see LP, LP players and amps as breakables. And I suppose so. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether you're going to see that. But the design, it looks like, I don't know, I don't know what's happened, but it's like come off randomly. It's, it's like coming off randomly. I don't know. It's weird. Weird. I'm not. I'm not bothered about breakables, really. I just like my mantra is just like pack and loads, just wrap them, wrap them, wrap them, wrap them, wrap them, wrap them. Um, right. So very quickly, I'll show you these because I've got to get on because I've got so much stuff. I got a massive thing of cotton wheels for I believe nine pounds plus commission. One sec. Eight pound plus commission, so just below a tenner, including commission. I got this rather nice little, um, uh, what let's call it, pin cushion, solid headed pins, and there's a load of different pins inside. Kirby, Beard and Co. London uh, and Birmingham, made in England. A nice little vintage pin cushion there, quite cool. Um, and then mainly in here are Silco. Uh, mainly in here is Silco, but the sort of it here is JP Coates six cord hundred yards of uh, sewing wheel. Um, but a lot of these in here are Silco, Silco cotton wheels. There's loads and loads in here. I just kind of took a punt on these because I'd sold them before. Um, Ad is all about his mantras, it seems. Nah, uh, one second, what have you said? If you sell electronics, that porcelain stuff should be right up your street. Ads is all about his mantras, it seems. I don't, what do you mean mantras? What mantras? I don't do mantras. I just, do I do mantras? But yeah, there's loads of them in there, so I'm going to lock them up accordingly. I probably won't sell them individually. I'll just lock them up accordingly. And no doubt there'll be some money in that, but I don't know. I mean, I've sold some Silco ones before, but I, I sold them on auction. I think I got about six quid for like four or five little ones. Um, yeah, like four or five wheels. I don't know what I'm going to get for them, but I'll just lock them up accordingly. Maybe buy it now some, maybe auction some, and, and that'll be that, basically. Um, you have said mantras a couple of times today is all. Oh, right. Mm, right okay. Um, Mantra, hmm. Have I? Have I said mantra? I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, global, oh, I can never say it. Globalus. Um, to be fair, ads is an inspiration on reselling. Always trying, always informing, interesting, and funny to watch, uh, too. Well, I just think all I'm doing is literally coming on here, showing you stuff, and then going away and processing it and trying to make at least a little bit of money from it. And, um, what's the word? And try and account for my mistakes and stuff because I make. A hell of a lot of mistakes. I think on this on this YouTube channel, if you go back through every single video, there's at least one mistake I've made on every single video. But the great thing is, from getting it from auction, is it's so cheap that it's hard not to just like 
go all in. You know, you keep buying bits that you're not even familiar on. Um, it's just too easy. I am actually, in one respect, too um, too comfortable with change now. Like, I'm too comfortable with diversification. I can't not go to an auction or not go to charity shops and pick something up that is different. I just can't not do it anymore. It's like hardwired into me, even if it's a fail. You know, I just can't. It's weird. Um, those wheels remind me of my childhood. Oh, why? And Nick say, oh, why? Is that Andrea or Nick? Because it sounds more like Andrea, that. I don't know. Um, right, so let's get through some more of this stuff because we've been a while now, aren't we? So I've got to get through some. Uh, guitar from the nine pound plus commission, eight pound plus commission job lot with the scary doll in. I'm going to show you some more of that job lot in a minute, but yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. Probably out of tune. Oh, God, this is the annoying thing at auction, mine. You get, there's, there's like one or two items in a big box lot, or maybe there's like three boxes worth of stuff, and there's like three items in those boxes that you want, right? And then you have to cart home three boxes worth of tat. It's like, oh, now what am I going to do with it? How am I going to sell it? I don't know. I don't know whether it's in tune. I don't, oh, I don't know. I'm just going to, oh. Why do I get this stuff? I don't even know how I get this stuff. Um, but that was in that job lot. I got, let's do some charity shop purchases and try and speed up now. I got a lot, oh Nick, you'll appreciate this. Um, I got this Beat the Black Ball game. Seems to have only sold twice in the last three months, but both of those times were, uh, one One was at the end of July and one was at the start of August. Actually, one, one of those times was yesterday. Um, the, this, I think it was one that sold for about 35 and one that sold for about 40, something like that. Um, and there's one on for 45 quid. Paid a fiver for it. I didn't check that it's, um, I didn't check that, oh, what am I trying to say? I didn't check that it was complete or anything. I just took a punt on it. I thought that if it's a 35 to 40 pound board game, even incomplete, then it's going to be some money, you know, even if it's incomplete or I could sell the parts or something like that. So I thought for a fiver, I'll take a chance on it. Um, beat the black, but yes, yeah, it is a bit racist, isn't it? I don't know. Is it? Is it? I don't know, is it? Mm. I didn't know whether it is a racist one or not. Beat the black ball. It's an interesting one, though, isn't it? I didn't know whether... Is it? Is it? Wait, is that racist? Uh, yeah, sing us a reselling song. God, but that's a, yeah, interesting board game anyway. Um, but yeah, it sold, it sold for about 35, 40 quid. Um, no, I was going to say, I was thinking, how is it? I'm thinking, what? Beat the black. I suppose, I suppose there's like a little tinge to it, but I don't think it is that much. But, um, but no, um, it sold for 35, 40 quid, so. You know, we'll see where I go with that if it's complete, if it's not. You know, that'll determine the value. Um, uh, glad there wasn't as uh, an S on the end of the game name. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, yeah, so that, that was quite cool. That was quite uh, a, an interesting one. Um, what else? Right. Okay, charity shop purchases. I know, I know, I know. Don't wait. I know I didn't, it doesn't have a remote, um, it's a Panasonic NV-SJ410 Superdrive um, VHS, I know it doesn't have a remote, but it was only 199 and I thought for 199 I can't go wrong there even if it doesn't have it of its remote, because if, if I can, I would buy a remote off eBay, or I will buy a remote off eBay, uh, if it's worth it, you know, for the value of it. Um, and then sell it at, like that with the remote. If I can't, I might try and sell it without the remote, but oh, it's really going to affect its saleability if it's not got its remote. But for one night, I couldn't leave something like that. So, yeah. And it has its SCART lead and it has its like power lead. Now, everything from this charity shop gets pat tested. Um, but I always test everything myself. Everything that comes through the door, I test it myself, unless I'm selling it specifically as untested because. I don't have the capability to test it or anything like that. But everything like this, I test myself. So regardless of whether it has a pat, pat tested stick on. But yeah, anyway, that was all right. I couldn't, I couldn't say no for 199 
Um, got to be happy. Keep the VCR to test and wind tapes. Oh, yeah, that's a good good idea, isn't it? Although, saying that I don't get many tapes anymore, although I do, I'm looking out for, like, the, you know, Trump to ones and things like that i got some trunks and ones uh, and i did all right on them i think um and then also for 199 um was this lg i don't even know whether an lg one's any good i just thought i picked it up for 199 this one doesn't have a start lead but it does have its remote and it has a little bit tatty instructions not terrible but a little bit tatty um again Pat tested, but I will test myself. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That could be some money there. I think the Superdrive one's going to be better money from the Panasonic. I, I sold a Superdrive Panasonic one the other day for 45 quid. Um, the one that I think I paid 10 quid for or 8 quid for, something like that, recently. Um, so, yeah, I was happy with that price. So, surely there's got to be some money in that Panasonic one. Don't know about this LG one, though, but it's going to be less. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, right, I've got to go around the other side now, so I'll just be a sec. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a bush because I'm like, where do I go? Where do I go? Um, right. So nine pound plus uh, eight. Sorry, I keep saying nine pound. Eight pound plus commission job lot. The one with the scary doll and the guitar so far. This is like the memory game. Um, we've got in in this little bag. We've got a few leapster games or leapfrog games or whatever they're called and then a little leapster leapfrog microphone so there's something in that um i got a leap a leap a little touch leap pad and i think it is in here i don't know i've not even checked um there's something in here there's something in here one sec i am now we pleat with beans and toast. What? I am now replete. Replete? Is that right? Replete with beans and toast. Will with added ham and cheese. Time to get listing. Thanks for the entertainment ads. We'll keep you in the background for company. All right. Um. Sorry, everything's falling. Um. This is a leap pad. It's some sort of electrical book, it looks like. I don't know, it's got this little book here, and I imagine some, you know, some electrical thing is in play. You're like, you know, you switch it on and there's some voices or something. I'm, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Um, but yeah, that was in the £8 plus commission job lot. There's something that fell out. There's like books and stuff that fell out. There is actually another box full of stuff from this job lot from this eight pound plus commission job lot in the other room, but it's mainly tat, um, so I didn't bring it. Um, World Geography, Leap Pad, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's a real word, is it? it? What, replete? God, I didn't know that was a real word. Yeah. I, I was surprised that obstroculous was a real word when my grandma told me that one, but yeah. Um, right, let me get this. So, this is the reason I bought the, the eight pound plus commission job lot. I only wanted these. I didn't want this two boxes worth of stuff. It's like, oh, even two or three boxes worth of stuff. I, it, it was, I just didn't want it all. But yeah, you have to do that at auction. It's so annoying. Well, in a way, it's like great because you're getting so much value. But in another way, you know, it's like annoying because you've got a cart home a load of stuff. Um, Muzzy, the German one. Um, it has all of its discs in there. I will get them out or get a few of them out. One or two of which are sealed, are brand new factory sealed. Don't know if you can see that, but yeah, brand new factory sealed. Um, it's got its booklet in there and stuff. Uh, replete adjective, filled or well supplied with something. Ah, ah, you know, I use another word for that. It's uh, replenished. It do, does replete come from replenish? See, I always think, oh, I'm replenished now. Is that right? Replenished? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Um, but yeah, that, that was in there. We've got um, we've got some muzzy English. We've got vocabulary. These are all sealed, although I don't know whether these are the correct seals. They look very, very tight and suspicious to me, but 
maybe they are, maybe this is how he came, I don't know. Um, as in, I am replete with tap from the auction. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's weird, that, isn't it? It's weird how, like, getting a load of stuff makes you feel complete or makes you feel fulfilled in a way. It's, it is odd. Um, but, yeah, so that's the German one. I'm not going to go for any more of that. You know what a, a muzzy's like. And then, again, on this one, a few of these discs are brand new and sealed as well. Uh, muzzy level two German. So, yeah, as a bundle, they're going to go, go pretty well. I think, like... I think uh, two of the French ones you can get like 30, 40 quid for. Don't know about the German ones. The Although inside it's in good condition, the outside isn't in great condition. I can clean it up, obviously, but there's still going to be that little crack there and stuff. Can't exactly get rid of that, but still, I can give it a clean up and the outside will look a little bit better. Uh, as I say, I don't know what you can get for the German ones, but it's probably not going to be too dissimilar, dissimilar to what you can get for the French ones. So that's my money back and profit from the job lot. And then, you know, everything else in those boxes is just profit. Whatever I can squeeze out, I'll squeeze out. And then anything else can just go to the charity. So, you know, um, tight and suspicious. I know, I knew someone was going to bring that up. As soon as I said it, I thought, oh, great. What have I done? What have I done? I have to say tight and suspicious, don't I? Um, uh, leap start, pre-math. And, yeah, and there's loads of these games in there. I'm not going to go through anything else in that box because it's a load of tap, basically. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I think, I think that's everything. Obviously, there's a little bit more in the other room, but there's nothing really. Was, oh, no, there is. There is one other special item. There's a... Hermes Ambassador Typewriter, which is actually really nice. I got it for nine quid plus commission. I've seen one go for 60 quid, but I'm sure that there was either one on or there's one sold for a bit more than that, actually, as well. But it isn't in the best of condition. Um, it certainly has some wear on the outside and stuff, and I'm going to give it a nice clean-up. But once I've given it a nice clean-up, it should be all right. So that was really good. That was like another a nice item but i don't think there's anything else in your room now that i'm thinking of um oh the lps i didn't do the lps i'll quickly go through the lps uh, sorry this is because i'm like piling up stuff on my bed it's just terrible isn't it? now the lps the lps some of which i'm gonna have for myself kind of just bought them for myself um yeah, like most of them I'm going to have for myself, or a good portion I am, because I've got the record player over there now. Um, but then any that I feel I can make money on, and or I could do like little bundles of, and, um, you know, they're in good condition, I will, and I actually don't want them, I will actually just sell them on to sort of recoup the cost of the bundle. So effectively, I've got a load of records for free. Um, well, yeah, there's some okay ones in here, actually. I mean, ones I, I would actually want, so... There's this uh, RCA Victor um, Sound of Music, pretty cool that one, quite like that, obviously Ju Julie Andrews on the back there, um, so that's quite nice, I, 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 I can see myself keeping that to be honest, just trying to see some of the tracks here, because it's going to be the soundtrack in it, yeah I might keep that, I, I think I did watch that movie when I was younger, but I've not watched it in ages, If I, you know, if even if I had have watched it so I want to watch that again I need to add that to my list so yeah there's that one I'm not going to go through them all don't worry I'm not going to sit here forever and, and just go through them all nobody's child and one I'm just I'll, I'll pick out a few oh here we go this looks like a bit of fun doesn't it this one oh 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 it's not even the cover I was I was, I was like oh that cover looks good and I'm, I'm looking at it backwards uh kids plays five Probably not one that I would consider keeping, so I might bundle that off or sell it off or something, I don't know. I mean, actually, the good thing, uh, no, yeah, no, I was thinking cabinet, but it won't be big enough, I don't think, to put the records in. It might be, but I don't know. No, I think it'd just be a bit, uh, yeah, it's not going to probably be worth it to slide these in the cabinet and stuff, uh, especially only for a few each, maybe a couple of quid each or something on the, on the lesser titles um but yeah i can certainly do something with them over the years if i can't get rid of them on ebay um paul johnson here comes the sun yeah i can't really see me having that 
I owe everything. Don't know what that is. Songs of all seasons. Let me see if it's. Oh yes, I'll have this one. Oh, I'll have that one. Uh, the Waikiki Beach Boys, Breeze of Hawaii. Oh, I'll have that one. The Beach Boys, if you don't know, very special place in my heart because they were, were the first band that made me made me appreciate music. So they were the first band that I listened. I remember my dad had Radio 2 on. We were coming home from some sort of holiday or something. I can't quite remember because it was so long ago. It was probably about 10. So it might have even been less. Um, and we're coming home from some sort of holiday. And um, then the Beach Boys California Girls came on. And uh, for some reason, I was into playing bongos back then. I don't know why. But I just used to like tapping on this little pair of bongos I had. And I had, oh, no, 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 no. I'm getting that wrong. Sorry, it's so long ago. Uh, this was before I had the bongos, but I was like tapping on like a drinks can or something. I don't know. Um, or a drinks bottle. And then I got the bongos because of that. Because I thought, oh, I really like the, the music. It's really drawing me in. I like to tap things and play things but yeah uh i'll be keeping that one so that's nice to find it i didn't even know that was in there to be honest but that was nice finding it in there um so yeah oh yes nice oh I'll have, i might have this for myself oh star wars lovely oh no it's that the way around in it so i'm keep getting these one way around uh star wars jeff love and his orchestra oh yeah I might have that one myself, unless it's really valuable, which I don't think it will be really valuable, but unless it is, I'm, I'm keeping that. I'll have that. Uh, right, I'll, do, I'll be very quickly, because I know this isn't really reselling related, because I'm, I'm just sort of showing you all the things that I want to keep. Um, Christmas carols, I'm not keeping that. Tijuana, Tijuana, Sound of Brass, Larry Norman, Up on This Rock. I, don't, I might have a quick listen to that, see what that's all about. Lamb 2, and then there's a load more in there. And then there's another, there's about another three times that in the other room. Um, but I'm going to go through and, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I keep that. I think I might keep that. Blondie, yeah, I might keep the Blondie one, actually. My dad will like that one if he, uh, yeah, he might have a play of that one, actually. I mean, there's only a few on here, but I like Rapture. Rapture's really good. I, I love that. Call me. I like that. Um, oh, here's the cat. Someone said, how was the cat? Sorry. One sec. One sec. How is the cat? Glitter sunflower. Um, yeah, she's fine. She's trying to get in. One sec. Come on, get in. Uh, yeah, she's just ran off from there. She's fine. She's, yeah, she's great. She's having another injection uh, on Saturday, so I'm not looking forward to that because the last time, uh, which is a 10 quid record, is that the Hawaiian Beach Boys cover band? I don't know. Let's check. Uh, this is, oh, the Waikiki Beach Boys. Oh, I thought, oh, it's got nothing to do with the Beach Boys, hasn't it? Oh, my God. That isn't even the Beach Boys. What am I saying? I just saw Beach Boys and thought, oh, yeah, that's great. I'll have that. Um, no, it's got nothing to do with it. Yeah, it is Retro Boot Disc. It's the, it's the cover band for them or something, isn't it? Well, and, uh, you know, Retro's just said there that's a 10 quid record. So, yeah, I'll probably sell that then because, you know, if it's not the Beach Boys, I'm not bothered. Um, do you want to come up here? Come up here, little one. Wait, here she is. Here she is. She is lovely. She'll get up on my shoulder again. Um, yeah, so I'll I'll keep that blondie one. Uh, one sec. Um, Jim Reeves. I'm not bothered about that one. But as I say, there's like oh, blah, 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 blah. get your tail out of my mouth. Um, there's about another three times that in the other room. So. There's probably going to be some money in it, and there's probably going to it's probably going to mean it's profitable, and I've got some records for myself, so I'm happy with that. Obviously, I need to go through and check scratches, and obviously play test them. Um, but hopefully, you know, should be some money on it. Uh, the Star Wars is worth about a tenner. Oh, why are 
all the ones that I want to blooming keep, um, you know, ten pound or so. What? Oh, anyway, yeah. Well, I'm gonna get. I think I might get into record, you know, and uh, bid on some more of them at the auction if they're worth this much. Because I think I paid about eighteen quid plus commission for the job lot. And if two, oh, there she goes. If two of the records are worth a tenner alone, um, then yeah, there could be some good money in this. Because I say I've got a lot more than this. So yeah. Uh, also, oh. This one, that I probably, is this Bob Dylan? Is this actually Bob Dylan? That's Bob Dylan. It's a big box one. I don't know whether that's what you're calling it, but I'm, I'm calling it a big box one. Um, Bob Dylan, the bootleg series. Um, I might keep that. You know, I'm not a major fan of Bob Dylan or anything, but if there's a few good ones on here. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't have that. Electra, no. Electra. No, 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 no. Don't. You can't have them. She's trying to chew the wires. Um, she kicked back something she always does now. She always tries to chew, uh, chew the wires. Um, hate se selling records, too many fussy customers, and too many breaking channels. Well, if you get them, uh, is it cruciform record uh, record cases or record, uh, you know, what do you call them? The cruciform record shippers or something, I don't know. You know where you ship them in them cases, surely they'll be all right, all right in them. Um, never had one record breaking post out of hundreds. I, mean, I suppose it's just the way you ship them, and maybe, I don't know. But um, yeah, I, think, I suppose if you ship them correctly, it, it's only going to be like anything else. Like, for example, everyone says, oh, I can't do, uh, you know, I can't be doing breakables because they all break. But I do breakables loads and never, well, touch wood, I've never had one, I don't think. I've never had one, and that's out of hundreds as well, like when I'm back doing mugs and other stuff and plates and stuff and studio pottery, I've never had any, so it's just, you've got, the thing is, you've got to wrap them well, haven't you? That's all it's about, but yeah, Bob Dylan thing, that might be worth something, but I might keep that. I'll be very quick and just have a quick another look. Don Francisco, the power, I'm not bored about that. Uh, 40 Christmas carols, probably nothing. So many of them around, didn't they? Like the Christmas carol stuff. I, I doubt they're going to be worth anything. Uh, the Sundown, ooh, what's that? Joe Pauline, All My Love, something, something, I don't know. Oh, that's not signed. No, that's not signed. No, that's not signed, surely. Even if it is signed, it might not be worth much. I don't know, but... Um, All My Love, Graham Broughton. I think it is signed. I and mean, then it says at the back here, the Sundown Band, Graham Broughton, acoustic guitar, lead vocals. Um, and it says, uh, oh, to Pauline, not Joe Pauline. To Pauline... All my love, Graham Broughton. Oh, we got. Is this real? How the problem is, you, you can never, you can never um, certify it. You know, you can never um, authenticate it. Can you? It's very, very hard to authenticate signatures. So, I don't know. It might be worthless, to be honest. But yeah, have you sniffed them? They might be musky. A little bit musky, but it's just like cardboard, isn't it? It's not. No. No, I, oh, the record themselves, you mean? No, they're not. They're not bad. All right. You can't challenge me. You know, you can't challenge me about dares. I'll, I'll always do a dare. I mean, no matter what you tell me to do, I'll do it. I'm that kind of a guy. Terrible, isn't it? Um, but yeah. So there's that one that could be signed, could be not. I don't know. All. Um, Royal Mail and Hermes play frisbee with them. Oh, great. Oh, that's really good, that is. Um, and then he says, all jokes aside, bro, if you know what you're doing with records, there's a lot of profit to be made. Exactly. Now, I picked up some David Bowie ones for myself ages ago for 50 quid. Obviously, I was paying pretty much retail um, because I was having them for myself. And if you on the David Bowie ones... Round like the, the whim of the record, there's like a, I don't know what we call it, a mate, matrix number, that's it, a matrix number. And if you get a certain matrix number, it tells you that it's a first pressing or it's like a certain, I forgot what I was, 
forgot what my research was telling me, but it was something like that. Anyway, if you got a certain matrix number, it's certain. Uh, it's a certain style, a certain pressing or whatever. And then that means that the value can go through the roof. Um, so, yeah, and where I got those records from was a charity shop. And they didn't know whether they were first pressings or what or anything. So I did the research and um, unfortunately there weren't, there weren't anything major, major value. But obviously at the time I bought them, uh, they were of some value because obviously it wasn't that long after David Bowie's death when I bought them, only a few months. So yeah. How much you spend at the auction in total, fella? I spent 108 yesterday at auction. It was a slow day. I spent 100. That's really weird. I spent 113. So, yeah, only five quid between us. Um, no, it, it, I usually spend at the because I go to Warrington. I like to do it. So then I only get one car load because it's like I know it, it's not a major drive. It's about 35, 40 minutes, something like that. But when I'm getting getting there and then I'm getting back and then I have to go there again and then go back again, it's like three hours or more. And I'm just thinking, if I just get one car load from there, if I keep it to one car load, then it means I don't have that extra journey for just a few more boxes. Um, but when I go to Nutsford, because that's only 10, 15 minute drive, I'm like, I'm just filling my boots. So when I go to Nutsford, I always spend more than when I go to Warrington. Um, usually Warrington comes in at about... 80 to 150 because uh, it's a very cheap auction as well you can get a lot of stuff for very little even though it is online um but when i go to nutsford it's a more expensive auction it's got better quality stuff but it is a slightly more expensive auction and i end up spending a lot more but i still get decent quality stuff uh, and some uh, of somewhat better quality than warrington auctions so yeah yeah i spent 750 two weeks ago but just nothing I really like this week. 750, wow. I think the most I've ever spent at auction, bear in mind I've only been doing auctions for about four months or so, uh, maybe five months. Um, but the most I've ever spent at auction, about 300. I think I just 300. Um, but I mean, I, I'd look, I was ready, like last week, I was ready to drop a thousand pounds at the auction. I really wanted to. I was like, I'm going to drop a K at the auction. I'm going to get a ton of stuff. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get about six carloads of stuff. It's gonna be awesome, and uh, yeah, this stuff just wasn't, you know, wasn't there, or the competition was higher, and it just meant I didn't end up spending that much. I think on that occasion, I spent about two fifty. So, you know, it's like seven hundred and fifty less than what I was hoping to spend. Um, how much on average would you say you spend on stock, though? Oh, through the whole whole week. Of, uh, from auctions to CS to boot for a week. Um, I don't know. Like, I spend about a k a month, around a k. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. Depends on how much I'm reinvesting. Sometimes it's been considerably less. Sometimes it's been considerably more. But it's around that, you know, nine hundred that sort of region. Um, and basically that means that on average i'd probably be about 200 250 a week something like that yeah my second auction i spent 1600 and took three car loads wow that's crazy um I, I should clarify who i'm talking to here i'm just randomly having a chat in the chat here but i'm talking to do it yourself lifestyle if people like watching this back want to know um Chris got, oh, uh, Sib K, Chris got, got uh, did Nito scam work? Oh, is he still trying this Nito scam thing? Um, right, I'll leave it there, guys, because I've probably been an hour or maybe even a little bit more, so I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Please do give it a like if you did enjoy the video. I will be back tomorrow, hopefully, for the Kachin Club. And, yeah, we are doing it this week, so, yeah, fingers crossed that should be okay uh, for tomorrow. Probably do it after. 12 normal time and then on thursday i'll be back at the time of half one i know some people forget that so i'm making it clear now 1 30 i'll be back on thursday for thursday talks episode 83 i believe uh or 84 83 i think i don't know 83 something like that um and i eight percent certain i will have a guest with me so that'll be pretty cool so yeah um i will see you all the, yeah i'll see you all very soon i'll see you all tomorrow so for viewing everyone, I hope you liked my haul, and as I say, if you did, 
do give it a thumbs up. Uh, did, did, do. And yeah, see you very soon.